Hi YouTube and welcome to Shebabs. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a rack or some people might call it a metal bookshelf or a metal shelf. For people that work in stores, you know, warehouses, they call them racks. So we're going to have we're going to talk about how to build a rack. First thing first, we're going to identify the accessories that you're going to need. So, one you're gonna need column posts. You're gonna need four of them for every rack that you're gonna build. Then you're gonna need the boards also. The size of the board depends on each rack. The size here is a 38 centimeters, which is about 15 inches, and about 93 centimeters or 36.5 inches. It can be wider or longer, depends on each uh, manufacturer. And the column posts measure 200 centimeters, which is two meters and almost 79 inches. The other accessories that we're gonna need are this. One, you should have your, your screws. So these are the screws. In other cases, instead of screws, you have bolts. So for each column post, you're gonna need at least 16 screws or 16 nuts. And there are four column posts, so in total, you're gonna need at least 64 screws and 64 nuts also. So these are the nuts that goes with it. Also, you're gonna need triangles like this, or let's not say triangle because depending on each person or depending on each manufacturer, it might come as a triangle or it might come, you know, different form. But you're gonna need an angle or a support like this. Each shelf is gonna, or each rack is gonna need at least eight of this on the topmost board and eight more in the last board. As per tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a spanner. This is a leaven spanner, which you're gonna need for the bolts. In my case, at least, I have screws, and for the nuts, I'm gonna use the spanner. If you don't have screws, you can use the spanner for the bolts. You're gonna need a screwdriver. Depending on the kind of screws that you have, you either need a flat screwdriver or a star screwdriver. An adjustable spanner, you might not need it. I just have it just in case. And you have a marker. The marker is for the rack, you know, to divide the rack. That's it. You might also need a drill. It's not necessary. It's not 100% necessary, but there are cases where the holes don't exactly fit and you might want to make it fit. So you're gonna need a drill. And last but not least, I'll recommend you to have your gloves. There are some of you who might not need it, who are already pros at it, but it's better to always protect yourself. It's not 100% necessary. I mean, you can build the whole stuff without gloves, but it will be better if you use your gloves for protective measures. So the first thing that we're gonna do is divide the column. You can either do that using a measuring tape or in my case, I'm gonna use the holes to separate it. Here we go. These numbers represent where the six boards are gonna be placed. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second column posts. You're gonna want to make sure that they are in the same level. It's very easy to make mistakes while doing this. That means you're gonna have to do this stuff all over again. So I just recommend that you do this first. You separate it first. two column posts and I'm just gonna leave the two column posts with which I'm gonna work. Get your support or your angle and align it. 
make sure the holes are correctly aligned. In here, what we're gonna do is That's the first thing, make sure they are aligned. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other posts. Align the angle, make sure that the holes fit exactly. Get your screws or your bolts. That's the first step. Get your board, make sure the holes that you have here in your board these holes right here, make sure they fit exactly in the two holes right out here. They fit exactly with the screws. If they won't go in, you might want to change direction. Adjust it a little bit. If you're going to want to tighten it, using one hand is a little bit difficult, but we can do this. Fix the next one. That's it. Use the bolts. If you're working alone, like in my case, you might need a chair or something to support the board. So it's gonna be easier to work. And let's go ahead and use the nuts for the other screws. You might wanna use one of this angles, but I'll advise you to use your gloves because the, these edges can be cut sometimes. So you use it as a support. Same thing we're gonna do with this one here. You don't have to tighten it the first time. You, can, you just use your hand. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Use this as a support. But in each country, you might have you know better tools than in my country, or if you have the means. If you don't have the means, you can do as I am doing. So we have the first one. The next are the edges you see right here. So you're gonna do basically the same thing as we did with these angles or with this support. We're gonna align and make sure that all the three holes fit exactly. If they don't fit, you might need your drill to make more holes or to make the holes bigger. And um, if you don't have a drill, what you can easily do is just make sure at least two of them do fit. So just use two bolts or two screws instead. That is what I'm gonna do in our case. And you might wanna work with the last hole. If you have a drill, you can use the drill. I have a drill, so I'm gonna work with that a little bit. Second board, if you remember quite well, we already have it marked out. We're gonna maintain that mark. Use this as support of the screws and use your nuts. Let's go to the next one. Before we continue with the third board, don't forget the sides here. So that's the third one, it goes right here. I'm using the box as a support. You know, since I'm the only one working here normally, you might need help for this. Get someone else to give you a hand. But if you don't have anyone to give you a hand, you can easily do it yourself. So I go to the fourth. Same process all over again. And the 
other side, I don't have the exact fit for the hole. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill or I'm going to align the hole here in this column with the hole here in the board. So remember, this is not necessary. In, in most cases, this is going to align perfect. But if it doesn't, you can just use a, a little bit of help. This is the fifth board, the same process all over again. And you get the board. Right here on the sides. And the other side screw. Now we're gonna play the last board. We're gonna do basically the same thing that we did in the first board. We're gonna look for the angles or the support and we're gonna place it first. So we're gonna have this, you know, make sure it coincides with the holes and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. So here we go. From here, we start with the bolts or the screws that you have. So here we go. We're going to get the last board and uh, align it. And then I'm going to start bolting. Done. Now that we've finished this part here, we're going to start working with this. So we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get more of this angles or support and align it. That's the first thing. The same thing that we did in the first one, everything should align. If the three holes doesn't align with the other holes, what you can do is just basically pick these two holes here. And after you can use maybe a drill to help you with the last one. So that is secured. And now this is the last part. So you can see here, this hole doesn't exactly align with the other holes. So I'm gonna use a drill and have that done as fast as possible. But if you don't have a drill, it's not necessary. I mean, you can easily depend on these two bolts or two screws that are here. Don't do the job. And finally, the other side, we're basically gonna do the same thing. Get an angle or support. Get my gloves, because this wasn't made like professionally, wasn't made from the manufacturer. I had to make this myself, so. It has all these cutting edges and that might be a bit dangerous. So we're gonna do the same thing, make sure it lines up with the holes. So either I go this way. fit exactly so I'm gonna make it fit if not okay so now this is what it looks like for now okay, we just finished the lower part 
or the lower structure. Now we're gonna start working on the upper structure. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did with this columns first. So we're gonna divide it. Make sure things are aligned. And now we're gonna start numbering. So this is the first one. And then we're gonna go, the second one is gonna be here. And then we're gonna do the same thing but the other way around. First, we're gonna align this. We might wanna make an adjustment because I can't see this number, so I, I, you can just make a mark outside of each one. Now let's align. Here we go. And the same thing with the, with the other one. We're gonna need the angles or the support make sure they align with the holes. If they don't exactly align the first time, you can work with the first two holes. Now, you can then work with this one after. So, what I'm gonna do, yep, just move it a little bit. Mm, almost right. Yep, that's done. I gotta go under and, and use the nuts. And voila, that's done. Now that we've finished that one, we're gonna go to the other side. This side right here. So we just do the same thing with the other side, make sure the holes are aligned. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a problem here. Let's change it all the way around, see if it... Okay, so this aligns properly, yeah, exactly. So this side is done. Now we're gonna start working on this side. I'm gonna do this later, but so the side is next. Remember, this next board, we don't have the angles or we don't have the supports or we don't really need the supports. So we're gonna have to work directly with these two sides, this one here and this other side here. same thing for all the other boards until we get here the same procedure we did in the first one we're gonna do here use the angles and that's it we're gonna work with the last board now with the last three holes right here and here we're gonna do basically the same thing that we did in the first board we're gonna place this angles one of these angles make sure it aligns with the holes and then we start working I'm gonna use, in my case, this first two holes. And I'll work with this last hole. So this last hole aligns perfectly. I don't have to do anything. I mean, I, mean, I don't have to drill to get the hole aligned. And I'm gonna go to the last one. This is the last hole. We're gonna do the same thing. Make sure the holes are aligned and then stop working. So we finally finished this side, just gonna go through so you can see everything. None of the screws are totally tightened, but we finished this side. Now we're gonna start with the other side. Gonna go through the same process. This is the upper part, 
we have to make sure this aligns with this and then we have to make sure the others you know number two number three four and so on and so forth so we're gonna start working with this So you can see this one would fit exactly. I'm gonna come back and fix this. But so we don't waste time. I'm gonna go to the next one. For the last one, we're gonna do like we did in the first one over there. We're gonna need the angles. Make sure the holes fit exactly. So you can see everything is all set. Now that we've finished all this, what we're gonna do is start tightening up. So we have all our structure set. All bolts in place, all screws in place. What we're gonna do now is start tightening each screw. Basically, what you're gonna need is a spanner, number 11, in this case, depending on the size of your bolts or the size of the screws, and a screwdriver. I'm using a flat screwdriver because the nuts are for flat screwdrivers. So that's basically everything that you're gonna need. If you have an electric drill, just use that instead. Depends on what you have. That's all. We've got a rack all set up. So you might probably want to make a hole in the wall and use a long nail such as this one and have this like fixed onto the wall so it doesn't bulge, it doesn't move at all. For now, this is solid as it is, but just in case, you might want to do that especially if you're working in a warehouse. Hopefully this video has been of some help. Hopefully you could learn how to build your own rack. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hasta luego. Ciao.